The rebels in Yemen's capital have reportedly seized U.S. embassy vehicles after American diplomats left the country following the embassy's closure. State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki said Wednesday the U.S. is looking into this. Clearly it is unacceptable uh, and we would reiterate uh, that in order to return to Sana'a, respect for property, respect for uh, our facilities um, uh, and is, is an essential component of that. So uh, we certainly are requesting uh, they be returned. Saki declined to discuss security for the embassy, but said the U.S. expects to return to the embassy in the same condition. There were reports um, also, I think, uh, that, that uh, some had entered the compound. We don't have anything to confirm those reports at when this time. The United States, Britain and France announced the closure of their embassies in Yemen because of deteriorating security conditions in the country. The U.S. State Department said late Tuesday its embassy staff had been moved out of the Yemen capital, Sana'a, while Britain announced early Wednesday that its staff had been withdrawn. France will close its embassy on Friday. Yemen has been mired in political turmoil for months. Last month, Houthi Shia rebels took over the residence of President Abdul Rabbi Mansur Hadi, prompting him and his cabinet to resign. The rebels finalized their takeover of the country last Friday, announcing they have dissolved parliament and are establishing a new presidential council to run Yemen affairs. Anti-Houthi protests were reported Wednesday in Sana'a and Ta'iz. Well, for the latest, I'm joined on the phone from Sana'a by Zaid al Alia, a journalist and analyst of Yemen affairs. Zaid, uh, we're hearing that uh, uh, Houthi fighters have actually overrun a military base uh, today in the southern part of Yemen. And the UN is saying there could be a civil war in this country. What can you tell us? Look, based on what is happening, it's, it's, it's very much like I blame the political parties and the different political forces and social forces in Yemen that until now, I, even from the beginning of the National Dialogue Conference, they could not reach an agreement. They could not understand that Yemen cannot rule by one side. And Houthi did a big mistake when he declared, when he announced the constitutional declaration. But I do not blame the Houthis only, because throughout the previous days, there has been a lot of discussions under the supervision of bin Omar among all parties, but they could not reach an agreement. Everything has to be, uh, has to go through. They agreed on something, and then uh, some international powers or regional no. powers will interfere and impose some uh, uh, some uh, uh, procedures or Zayn. some steps on the situation, and it gets more complicated. Now, from your assessment, uh, where do things stand right now? Is there a possible resolution to this problem? Compromise? There is, there is, there is always a, a possible uh, solution for what is happening in Yemen. I told people should know that the situation in Yemen is very complicated because it's not only one force that is quarreling or conflicting. Houthis, Islah, Socialist, Nasrid, Qaeda, Southern Movements, all these should come together. Otherwise, Yemen will get scattered. We will not have only one country. The people in Marib will announce their own state. People in Ta'iz and al will announce their own state. People in, in the south will announce their own state. And Yemen will become and scattered. That will be because, uh, Zaid, uh, who is in charge today? Who is the government in Sana'a? There is no cabinet. The, the revolutionary committees of the Houthis are running everything, but not in all over Yemen. Houthis are controlling two regions. The Azar region, that includes Sana'a, Damar, Sa'da, and Amran. They control part of uh, Hajjah, Hudayda, and part of Eb. The rest, they are running on their own. Marib is, is, is going by, by its own self. Uh, Aden, they're not receiving any directions from, from the central uh, uh, base, like in Sana'a. They, they are running their own. And today, something very important happened that uh, Al-Qaeda group captured a big military base in Shabwa. And they took all the arms in that area, which Al-Qaeda will flourish because of the, uh, the, the, the not agreement among all, all parties. Not like well, well, no one. Zaid. Uh, the, the Zaid, Zaid uh, thank you very much and we want to thank you also for some fabulous photos that you sent to us uh, that you took from the demonstrations in Sana'a. Well, Zaid uh, is a journalist and analyst uh, based in Sana'a, the capital of Yemen.